Welcome back, realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith, and I've got some money for you. The money's tied up in this property. This property I'm calling the tallest trees in Arizona land. We've got the land right here in the background, and uh, it's a bunch of big trees, a bunch of big pine trees, and it's it's the tallest trees in Arizona. I dare you to go find some bigger ones. I've looked at land all over the state, own lots of it. And uh, you know what else I've done is I've bought hundreds of properties in Arizona and split them into many, many more, and... Um, sold those off too and so when i look at this one i'm like man somebody should split this thing up uh if you're up for it and if you want to do it together i'm i'm game but i think you could do it on your own too uh right here in the background there's a bunch of cabins and they're a bunch of cabins in the woods people like to get out of the desert they like to go up in the mountains this alpinist kind of atmosphere and they like to have a cabin they like to have a cabin that's got their family name on it and it's a place they can go meet up and and have fun. You can just live without running the air conditioning for a little bit of time. You can listen to the birds and the squirrels and stuff in the trees and it's just quiet cabin country in the woods, right? So this property up here, it's 33, almost 34 acres. These little properties over here with the cabins, they're like a quarter acre, half an acre, maybe two acres from time to time. So we could take this 34 acre one up here and we could hire a surveyor to go through and find the most advantageous spots to put houses because the topography bumps around a little bit and draw up a split map. The other thing we would need to do is get a water well guy in there and maybe even do this first so we could figure out what kind of water flow we can get out to see how many houses we could uh, supply off of the water well. Drill a big like percussion style water well and uh, get a bunch of flow, get a flow test out of it, see how many houses we could support, and split the property into that many properties, and draw some easements from that water well to each one of those properties, and draw a, uh, a place for a road, and have a bulldozer guy come in and bulldoze out a trail so you can drive up to these properties. And then I could sell each one of these properties individually for a good deal more money than this whole thing together. Um, let's jump into it. Let's take a look at it. You could hire realtors. You could have somebody else sell the property. It doesn't have to be me, but I'm willing to help if you're game. And uh, so here we got this thing on ruralvacantland.com. And I'm asking, I just lowered the price. We just lowered the price. We were asking $297,000. Yeah, $297,000. We just lowered it to $197,000. Just dropped the price hundred grand. So just dropped it hundred grand and uh, put it on the MLS and the phone started ringing, but I want, I want to work with one of you guys to pull this thing off, split it up and sell the pieces before one of these other guys takes off with it and does it, right? <laughs> so here we go. Here's the, um, the APN numbers right here. The, uh, it's Yavapai County, Arizona, 33.74 acres, almost 34 acres. There's some, some old videos. Here's a map in the background. We'll pull this up and take a look at this thing. So this property, it's at the top of the mountain. There's a little road on one side of it that comes up. There's a little road on the back side of it that comes up through the trees here. We got a photo guy. I go over there, take photos and drone shots and everything. And uh, if we zoom out, um, we'll see the area. I'll turn a map on in the area. So the Mount Union's the name of this mountain. And there's a ridge running along here. And that's where the property is. It's almost the top. And so we get some good elevation here. Prescott's just north of here, Yavapai Hills. So as you go south down a little bit further, you get down to Phoenix. So we got Phoenix right here. We've got a massive metropolitan area to sell these little cabin lots to. I mean, you could even take it further and build the cabins, but I'd be more inclined to just add the road, add the water, paper it up, and uh, sell the lots. So I believe the lots in the area, these little cabin lots you could fit a cabin on are, you know, they're not in the 20s. They're in the low 30s, mid 30s, 30 grand a piece. So I think we could make, you know, probably more than 20 of them and just see where the water, the water uh, sources pan out on the thing, see how much water we could actually supply to these and make that many properties. I mean, we could make a basket full of these properties. I mean, if we made one acre, average one acre lots, we'd have 34 of them. I don't know if we get that many out of it, but, uh, you know, just times, say we sell these lots for 25 grand a piece and we're under the market, you sell them for 25 grand a piece, you'd only have to sell like eight of them to get back to cost on this thing. And I think you could sell, you know, six, let's say 16. I think you could do 16 of them. You could more than double your money off of this. And uh, I think you could do more than that. You'd have to price in some for the cost of the road and cost of the water well. You'd probably sell one lot to pay for 
pay for the road, sell another lot to pay for the water well. So maybe you got to sell 20 of them to double your money. But you might even be able to fit 30 of them in there. Okay. We've got uh, GPS coordinates. If you want to go take a look at it, there's GPS coordinates down the page here. You click on that and you drive up there and take a look. Um, we've got a pile of GPS coordinates on the page here of all kinds of lot lines and descriptions. Uh, taxes are about just under $600 a year, the way the property's put together right now. We've got directions to different supplies and hospitals and stuff around the area. But if we go back up here and we look at the pictures, we've got pictures, got actual pictures on here. And we got some uh, drone footage of the property too. I'm not seeing that on the website right now. I thought it was on there, but I'll have to do some work to get that on the website. So here's a shot of like a little stream running through the next to the road on the way up there. Here's the name of the road on the way up there. It's like private drive, residents and guests only. You know, this is like cabin country getting up in here. So it's this kind of switchbacks and driving up the mountain. There's power lines getting really close. So I think we could get the power lines hooked in there. The first people to build on the property would be paying more to get the power lines in there. And then the economies, economies of scale will branch off from there. And so here's a picture. I think this is the same picture I just had in the background maybe. But uh, it's, this, it's the ridge top, some of the hill, and some of the top of the hill. So I think some of the choicest slots would be on the top of the hill. Some of it's got some rocks in it. That's why I say it'd, it'd be average you know, the size of the property would change, different sizes of property, like maybe somebody gets these rocks, maybe someone wants to build on top of it. Um, yeah, so they, wherever the, the hill is steeper, they just give those people more acreage to fit them in below or fit them in on top. Yeah, so here's the top of the hills with big vistas out over the area. You can see down in the valleys where some of these other cabins are. You can see the road starting to come up here too. Road coming up to the property in that direction. You can branch off of that. So here's some some depictors of the more pictures of the hills and the trees and the vistas and the area. And here's a house on the ridge over here. I mean, some houses down in here, just cabins scattered through through these hills, taking advantage of the of the trees and the elevation. You know, it's like Mother Nature's uh, air conditioning, right? Um, so yeah, so here's some more, some more people like to go up here and go hiking and enjoy in these forests. And you look down below, you start getting into the, the valleys below. I think that might be um, Prescott right up there. Yeah, I believe that's Prescott Valley. So you're like up the hill looking down at it. This is a shot from a little further up the hill, the drone photos looking down. Yeah, so just lots of pictures of the actual property, but feel free to go out there and look at it. Here's some street shots of driving up and down the road with a uh, Google video camera guys taking pictures of trees, some maps. It's uh, 16 miles to Prescott High School. Um, yeah, so there it is. There's the property. So if you guys are interested in doing a land split development with me, um, this would be the most advanced one I've ever taken on personally. Most of mine are splitting them up uh, by creating new legal descriptions and selling the bits and pieces of them. But this would be a step further of adding water, adding road, and um, having a surveyor draw the legal descriptions of much more uh, intricate lot designs taking advantage of the topography of the property. But we could sub each one of those pieces out and... Um, I could help walk you through that or do it for you however, however you wanted to uh, to make it happen. Or you could take this and say, Luke, I don't need you. Go do it all on your own. That's totally fine too. So yeah, there's the property. And uh, I just think, I think there's economics to be made there. I think you could make a good 200 grand after the costs. Um, maybe my numbers are jaded. Please go look at it, you're, you're, you know, calculate your own numbers. I can get you in touch with uh, water well guys. I can get you in touch with surveyors. Um, I can, I don't, I called some road guys, but I, I, could, I could get back on the phone with some more road guys and get some quotes of different road guys, uh, quotes to go bang it out and see if they charge per foot or what in this area, see how much, what kind of money it would be all together and get you better quotes if you like as well. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith at RuralVacantLand.com bringing you some more uh, easy, cheap land. This time it's called Tallest Trees in Arizona. Thanks. Talk to you in the next one.